Do you know why you should always keep your distance from tanker trucks on the road? This is what the inside of a tanker looks like. Not quite what you imagined, right? It's not just an empty space inside. Instead, it's divided into several compartments with partitions like this. The reason for this design is to address the sloshing effect that occurs when the truck is in motion. The sloshing effect happens when the liquid inside forms waves, causing it to shift rapidly and concentrate in certain areas. This movement can create a force much stronger than the weight of the liquid itself, sometimes several times greater. Such forces can make the tanker or truck highly unstable, especially during high-speed driving, sharp turns or sudden braking, increasing the risk of a rollover accident. To reduce the dangers of the sloshing effect, internal partitions are installed to minimize liquid movement and improve the vehicle's stability. Typically these partitions are sealed to prevent free flow of the liquid during transport. However, in some cases small holes or openings are added to allow limited liquid movement. This helps balance pressure inside the tank and makes loading and unloading easier. But here's the catch. While partitions help reduce front-to-back sloshing, they do nothing to control side-to-side -side movement. Because of the liquid's shifting weight and the tanker's high center of gravity, these trucks are prone to tipping over. Tests show that while the average car can handle up to 1.2 to 1.3 g of force before rolling over, tanker trucks have a rollover threshold of only about 0.4 g, three times lower than a regular car.